Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional where we continue in the Gospel of Luke. Let's read from Luke 7, 18 to 20. John's disciples told him about all these things. Calling two of them, he sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to ask you, are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? Today's lesson. It's important that we realise that we will all be tempted to doubt as the devil devil fires fiery darts at us when we are vulnerable. And at times of doubt and temptation, it's important to talk with people who can genuinely help. Now it seems, doesn't it, impossible that John the Baptist could have doubts about Jesus. Earlier in this gospel, we have read about John's miraculous birth, his being filled with the Spirit, even from the womb and the great promises from God for his ministry. But now he's in a very dark place of doubts. This is very sobering, isn't it? None of us are beyond temptation to doubt our faith. We can all wander off if we are not aware of our vulnerability. If John can doubt, you and I can doubt. Paul uses the example of unbelieving, wavering Israel to warn the Corinthians and to warn us of being self-confident, too self-assured that we could never waver in our faith. In 1 Corinthians 10, 11 to 13, we read, These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us on whom the culmination of the ages has come. So if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear, but when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Everybody undergoes temptation to doubt. A person who never doubts is either lying, is mentally unusual, or has not had enough life experience. Suffering and temptation to doubt comes to all of us and the devil loves to tempt us when we are vulnerable. John is in prison. Many Christians shout about victory and power and like the true Christian life will be healthy, wealthy, well and yes we will drive an expensive car and live in a massive house and all these things but John the Baptist, the prophet of God, was in prison and will be martyred there. Earlier in Luke, John had said of Jesus, I baptise you with water, but one who is more powerful than I will come, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire. And now John is doubting about if maybe he was wrong about Jesus. John had known that God had called him to prepare the way for the Lord and that all people will see God's salvation and that although John was the way maker for Christ, he had clearly expected Jesus the Messiah to act more decisively against the enemies of God rather than heal their servants as he healed the centurion servant previously. Instead of power and victory, John's faith and boldness had landed him with arrest and imprisonment. It's hard for all of us when God doesn't act as we had presumed. Joel Green writes, Is Jesus the expected one, the Messiah? For John and no doubt for others, the nature of Jesus' activity seems to disqualify any claim he might have to this status. As Luke's account goes on to demonstrate, however, This is due to misperceptions about messiahship, about how God's eschatological visitation would be realised. In other words, what he's saying is John and many others had wrong expectations of the Messiah. 
So in response, it's important that we realise that we will all be tempted with doubts as the devil fires fiery darts at us when we are vulnerable. At times of doubt and temptation, it's important to talk to people who can genuinely help. Let's notice in verse 18 that John's disciples told him about all these things. I think it's safe to say that his disciples, John's disciples, shared the accounts of the healing of the centurion's servant and the raising of the widow's son in order to encourage John. How can you be a good friend and seek to encourage those who are in a dark place and who are doubting? Secondly, we see that John sent them to the Lord to ask, are you the one who was to come or should we expect someone else? If we are tempted to doubt, have you spoken to Jesus about it in prayer? Have you got a friend or church leader that you can talk to about your struggles? God bless you.